Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I'd like to show you this fun pop-up card. It uses balloon adventures and the balloon pop-up thinlets, which coordinate. If you buy them as a bundle, you can save yourself 10%. And if you're one of the first six people between now and March 31st to buy one of these or both, I will send you the supplies for this card. Tempting turquoise one. We're going to put on the Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. I've got my cut up plate on the bottom. I'm going to use the balloon pop ups thinlet. And this piece has a line here and this little triangle piece. I have drawn the line across here and then some lines here just to help me center it. I want to put that crease right on that edge of the thinlets. And then I want to center it. When I put it on the platform, I also want to be sure that this is centered here. Um, because you, this is going to take up the full width of the platform and you don't want to have it hanging off the side because it will jam into your machine and cause you problems which you don't want. So I'm going to cover that with the top plate and run this through the big shot. And that does almost all the work for us. Comes off really easily. Got a few pieces here. And what that does is it cuts out these balloons. You want to be really gentle with this part so that your little balloon string doesn't get messed up. You're going to go ahead and fold on the score lines. And that will create the pop up for you. We're going to be adding the sprinkles on the side with the sprinkles punch. And basically, I'm running it all the way in. On both sides, top and bottom. If you want to save these sprinkles for something, you can. But we're not going to use them for this card. We're going to cut out this banner now with the Whisper White. So, so we're going to put that on the big shot. While we're at it, we're going to put the piece of tempting turquoise and from the center of that we're going to cut out two balloons. Cover all of this with the clear plate. Run this through the big shot. I think you can see that there are some score lines for the ends of the banner and so we're going to just trim those ends of the banner. You'll also see the balloon strings coming up. We're going to just snip those off even with the edge and these strings on the bottom. The Let's Celebrate stamp is straight, but we can curve it to match the curve on the banner. So I'm just putting it on the block and then bending the sides down a little bit and checking to make sure maybe that's a little too much curve. That will work. And I don't know if you noticed, I've got my stamping pad here, and I've got my Rich Razzleberry ink. And I'll stamp. The photopolymer makes it really easy to stamp right where you need it, at least if the camera's not where your head needs to be. Not bad. And while we're stamping, I've got my big Here's to Another Year full of adventures. I'm going to stamp this at the bottom of the Whisper White. I want to stamp the balloon strings, but I want them behind the words. So I'm just going to tear off a sticky note. 
this is the sticky part of the sticky note, and I'm going to put it over the words. There are two separate balloon strings that come with the set. You can use either or both. And I'm using crushed curry. And I want to have the bottom of the balloon strings at the bottom of this card. Got a piece of paper on my stamp pad. You might also want to stamp some of this confetti here. Totally up to you. And I don't want to stamp over my words. Or on my stamp map. So I'm just adding that. And I can just take off the sticky notes. And so those balloon strings go behind the words. I have two balloons in Tempting Turquoise. I may or may not need them all. I need to decide what colors I want. I want to cut those same balloons with the crushed curry. And I want to put them all the way on the side here. And I also want to cut out this little bow. And I'll run that through the big shot. I think this is the sweetest little bow. And I might want a balloon from the Rich Razzleberry. So I'll run this through the big shot. These balloons are also the same as the Balloon Bouquet Punch. And so I'm cutting a large balloon from the Dazzling Diamonds. And then I want to have some confetti to fill in the holes here. So I'm going to just punch some confetti. And I'm also punching some confetti from the, the other side of the crushed curry. Believe it or not, we're ready to assemble our card. I'm going to use adhesive of your choice to adhere the ends. You do not want any adhesive in this center section. Sometimes you have little flaps here, so you want to make sure and get some adhesive in there so those stay down. And we're just going to line that up. Adding adhesive to the banner. And this will be folding, but it's actually, I think, easier to fold it once it's on there and dried. Find that little bow. And you might want to just glue half this bow or let it fold up to you. And then you're going to decide how you're going to arrange these balloons. I kind of liked the Dazzling Diamonds balloon in the center. Then I need to decide whether I want to use, I think I'll use that Rich Razzleberry balloon on the inside here. And since I'm using dots, I'll use the stripes here. Perhaps you can say I only glued half of this Dazzling Diamonds balloon down. And I glue that over this balloon. So I'm just using a little bit of adhesive here. You could use the fine tip glue pen if you'd like. And I found that if you just let that sit for a little bit, and it's still sticky even after the glue is dried and clear. 
so there's no rush. Using a pair of tweezers just so I don't get glue all over my fingers. And then I'm going to put glue on this side of the balloon. And I'll let that dry a bit. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. And I'm going to cover up that, those places where I punched out those balloons. And I get to decide which balloons I'm going to put on here. I guess I'm going to do like that. And for these balloons, I did use dimensionals, but they are skinny, skinny, skinny. So I'm cutting off just slices of dimensional. And that's plenty of dimensional. So I'm going to stick my balloons up here on top of the strings. Very fun. So this is actually a spare balloon here. And I will start adding some sprinkles to fill in here. Now you could leave these all just have a trousel berry showing through. That's a, totally okay. If you're having trouble picking up the little pieces, you can stick just a glue dot on a skewer. And it's really easy to pick up little pieces and put them just where you want them. And now it's time to fold this up. So I want to take the time to actually crease my banner and my bow and make sure it closes nicely. Looks like I was a little bit off here. I might take the time to snip that. I see a little extra adhesive here. I'll use the adhesive eraser. And then adhere the card front. And there's my fun card. I think this card is so fun. Here's another version of this card where I used, um, I did not use the pop-up. I just cut out the, I just used those score lines to cut out this piece as a static piece. And then you can actually stamp those balloons if you'd like. Just in case you're wondering, this makes a tag topper so that it cuts the holes in the top of the tag. It folds the, the crease. And so you can make a tag this width but any length. And this makes a, a bow that you can stick on top. This can be a balloon string, but it can also cut out a little um, gift card. So I was experimenting with that with this card. So you can actually, so I didn't get it lined up exactly right, but you could actually put a little gift card in into that slotted pocket. So if you would like to get Balloon Adventures, the Balloon Adventure Bundle, or the balloon pop-up thinlets, come on over to BevAdams.com. Those first six people before March 31st will get the paper to make this card. I will have the full directions at my website with a link to all the products. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.